All right, so um, hi there. I'm Brenda Ravener Grebel, and I am with Course Smart. And are you um, a faculty? Or? No, I'm the staff of Information Technology Service. Okay, okay. And I support the Sakai software. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, well, um, normally my presentation is usually about um, 45 minutes, so I'm going to do my best to boil it down to what we have 15 minutes. So, um, so let me go ahead and get started. So basically, when I come to talk with institutions, um, I usually like to talk about what their goals and what their objectives are when they think about digital content. And um, these are a lot of the goals that we regularly hear. Um, institutions are always very interested in, in reducing cost. Um, they're also very interested in streamlining, streamlining access, um, mobile access, providing a very consistent course experience among all of the courses. And those would include both on-ground students and online students. And then accessibility, as we all know, that is very, very important for, um, for a lot of institutions. And then really, um, and I always struggle that I should probably put this up front, is improving retention and improving student outcomes. And of course, the green initiative, we all want to um, uh, minimize the environmental cost associated with delivering um, higher ed content textbooks. So um, as you probably all know, technology is really having an impact on um, how we teach today and how we deliver content. And really the story is changing. And um, so when I was in college and I um, had to get my course materials, usually what I would do is I would um, walk into the first day of my class and I'd get the syllabi. And on my syllabi, I would have all the required books that I needed. So then I would march over to the bookstore and I'd walk up and down the aisles and I'd look for the book, for the used book, section and then I would also look at each of those books to see you know which one of those books had the fewer number of highlights and then I'd buy the book so I don't know if you had similar experiences um, but today's students you know they've got many more options and things are really much more complex so if you think about um, you know, they need to decide what courses they're going to take, but they also need to decide are they going to take the, a traditional on-ground course or will they take, a, uh, take uh, those courses electronically online. So again, there are lots of options, lots of choices, and in some cases those choices can be very complex. Um, actually, we did some, um, we viewed some recent research from um, the National Bookstore Association and there was a study that was done just last year and they reported that 54% of students actually purchase their um, campus materials outside of the bookstore. Did you have a similar, have you had a similar experience? Uh, it's okay, you can be <laughs> truthful. I purchased them all out of the bookstore, yeah. Okay, yeah, and probably the reason that you did that because you were looking for the best price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, and we find this actually a very common practice that um, students wait to purchase their books until after the class has, has begun. And a lot, oftentimes that's because they, they're doing their research and they want to look for the book that, um, that costs them the least amount of money. Um, also things are you know, changing in terms of um, what students expect. And there are now um, you know, students they have mobile devices and they also have certain expectations of how the content is being delivered. 
and institutions are really um, competing with a lot of those, those demands. So it's really more critical for an institution if they want to move to a digital strategy to really partner with a company that has a lot of experience in this area and also a company that they can really trust will meet their needs. So who is Course Smart? Um, basically, we call ourselves an educational services platform. And, um, and what that includes is not only can we deliver content, but we can also work with the institution's um, ecosystem in terms of how that content is delivered. Um, we also consider that there are a number of different groups that are part of the value chain in an institution. So um, obviously, you have the students and the faculty here. We recognize that they're obviously very important in, in this value chain. But then you have the institution themselves. I mean, the institutions are really working with, um, they're working, they're trying, they need to accomplish more, and they're trying to do that with less resources. Um, then the bookstore, we recognize how important bookstores can be to institutions. And then the publishers, they're the ones that are delivering the content. So when we think about solutions in terms of di di delivering digital content, um, you know, these are all of the um, important um, uh, people that we, or stakeholders that we really consider. Um, here's an example of some of the institutions that um, we are actively working with. So you can see that there's some um, pretty large institutions, and I think that'll give you an example of the scale that, um, that we can work with. Any questions so far? Um, so one of the key things to remember about CourseSmart is that we are actually owned by the big five publishers, but we work with over 50 publishers currently, and we're adding more publishing partners every day. Um, we actually have the largest catalog in higher ed that's out there, and we um, traditionally have about 90% of the core textbooks that are available today um, at the undergraduate level. We can also um, provide access to e-resources. So, for example, if an institution is using one of the Pearson MyLab products, um, we can um, make uh, availability of those products Smart. I, I don't understand that. Say like, yep. yep. So we have products from all of those companies. So it's kind of like one-stop shopping. So instead of going to Pearson to get your content, you mean online content? Yes. You can, you can, copy. Um, the digital, the online yeah, copy. Online. You can actually come through our storefront and get products for all of the, um, for, for all of the, the books from the different publishers. And the benefit of that is that it's the same user experience. So if you look at the Course Smart Reader, it's going to be the same reader, it'll have the same functionality as all of those, um, those companies. Well then let, let's take a look at it. So one of the things that we do is we can integrate with Sakai. So um, let's see, so well, I guess I, I logged out of here. So if I were to go, I'm going to log in as an instructor. The reason I'm very interested is because 
Because so what? I'm trying to integrate the kind of go here. Right. So, so yeah, so um, I'm sure you can do that. But yep. But if you if you integrate with Course Smart, then you can use products from other publishers as well, and it'll be the same user experience. But then, if I connect to my profile, it's free to us. Pardon me? If I connect to my profile, it's free to us. Well, this is free. This is free. Yep, the integration is free. Now, um, so basically, so there's a couple things that you get with the integration. And one of the things that you get is something called faculty instant access. So here I have a course that's set up. So I'm going to go into my course. And then um, because I'm logged in as an instructor, you're going to um, get a link down here that is the Core Smart Instant Access. So if I click on that link, it's going to take me to Core Smart. And now it's going to provide me with instant access to every book that's in the Core Smart catalog. And so only faculty get this, and I'll show you what the student experience is like. So let's say, what do you teach? Do you, oh, you don't. The IT. That's right, you're the IT person. So let's say that you're um, teaching a course on computer science, and you have to pick a book for next semester. What? Chemistry. What? Chemistry. My husband teaches chemistry. Chemistry, okay. He's not using so if I click search, it will bring up every book that we have in our catalog that has the word chemistry in it. And um, his name is Chancey Is that the book he's using? Well, anyway, so it'll go through here and it'll show me all the chemistry books that we have in our catalog. And let's say, um, so, let's say this is the one that I'm going to adopt and I want to have a copy digitally that's available so I can access it from my phone. I, um, I can click on that link. It'll give me some info about it. It tells me how much, if, if the students were to buy this at CourseSmart, it'll tell me how much the book is. Um, what the duration is. So this course, this book is usually used in a one semester course. So they get access to it for 180 days. So this is the online. This is an online, a digital version. So this include the, all the textbook part. Yep. And the supplementary, um, like a quiz. No, those are, um, that would be through, like if you were using McGraw-Hill book, what's called Connect, right. and you'd have to have an access code. Okay. So yep. but, but, but you can purchase that, you can get that through course. But then that has to go to another site. Well, we are working on, we're actually just now piloting something called single sign-on, yeah. so that it would give them instant access because it authenticates them through the LMS. So that's coming. Okay, so, so right now students can buy the digital copy of the textbook. So because I'm logged in as an instructor, this is yeah. the screen, the um, splash screen that I'm getting. But if I were logged in as a student, it would tell me, you know, do you want to take a look at it? Do you want to like see some sample chapters? So and then it'll sure. have a button that says buy now and they click on that. So well, what's the list price for the hard copy? Two hundred and thirty-six. Oh sorry. Three hundred and sixty-three. Wow. And the digital version is hundred and twenty-seven. I'm hoping that the the outline of the supplement. Yeah, that's the
that's coming. It's, um, I would say, well, we're going into beta right now, and we're going to be working with some institutions to test drive it. But I'd say probably 10, 12 months from now. So if I click on add to my bookshelf, it's going to put this book on my bookshelf. Um, it'll ask for some info for the publisher. And now I can add it to my bookshelf. And now I have an instant access. I can go in and now it'll take me to the Course Smart Reader. And I can um, go in and you know, I, if I want to search by a thumbnail view, which I like to do in the visual learner, and I can go right directly to that page. If I wanted to zoom in, I can zoom in. Um, if I wanted to do a search, of a specific word, it'll bring up every place where the word atomic is covered in this chapter. Um, I can look at, um, I can make notes on the page, so let's say I want to make a note. Highlight, I can highlight, I can copy, I can print copies up to 10 pages. Um, so that's what they just at a time. Yes, 10 pages at a time. You don't have a track. You track how many times I want. I mean, I can print. Yeah. It's well, the publishers set those restrictions, so they set the DRM. But this is a faculty school. But this is your This is a well, but no, this is the same book. It'd be the same experience for student as it is faculty. Um, we are coming out with something called print on demand, where if students want to pay a little extra, they can get a, a print copy of the book sent to them. So who made this digital format? You or the or whatever? The publishers get, provide us with the files, and the files are EPUB 3, and then we ingest them into our system. And then your annotation and yeah. process. Yeah. So that's what the reader looks like. And again, so here I have a, a course that's set up. And and so what instructors can do is they can add links in their Sakai course. And so if I were a student and I clicked on that link, it would take me um, right to the book that was happening. This is a biology book, but you can also set it up so that it will take them to specific pages in the book. So if I go to preview, it'll take me to that section of the book. So that's what our integration looks like. We're also um, going to be offering, um, well, one thing is, is we are accessible. You know, we're really kind of the gold standard in terms of accessibility. And then um, one of the things that we're offering with an integration is, um, and this is a new solution that we just rolled out, it's, it's in beta but will be available for the fall, is we're offering um, a dashboard that will have analytics so that you can see how many students have um, looked at the book, how they've engaged with the book, have they taken notes, have they highlighted, and then it'll give you this um, engagement score, and it's a, you can look at, um, at, 
in terms of the views, you can look from an administrative view, but you can also drill down into courses and as well as into individual students. Um, mobile devices, um, we work with all of the, um, you know, the mobile devices that are available, so iPhone, iPad, Android. Um, we have something called Reflowable Text that just came out and that will optimize the, your reading experience depending on the device that you're using. Um, you can also, if you don't have access to the internet, you can download a version um, or sections from the book or the entire book. And we work with the publishers on all of the digital rights management. Student, I'm supposed to be the student. Oh, I'm done. So, yep, I'm done. So, um, any questions? Any other questions? Okay, we can talk afterward. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's really. Um, yeah, I'm. So that's really kind of who we are and the services that we can offer. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Hi. So it's free to... It's free, yep. The integration. Um, in fact, I was talking with Charlie, who I guess runs... But do you charge the university? No. Okay, so basically... To I'm sorry. To okay. Simply put it in this way is you collect all the digital copy of the hard copy textbook from 50 publishers, you put it in the same interface. Okay, so right now you just wish the faculty to go create links in their in their supply courses. Yeah. What is this? So the student actually can buy the this is the tripod. That's right. The That's right. And I'm talking to your bookstore, Paul, and your bookstore yeah, as well to make um, Course Smart is the standard um, platform that the bookstore will be driving. Then, what, then the bookstore will do they get a portion of the? Yeah, I mean we work with them, you know, in terms of you know the, the there's a rebat.